we definitely saw a lot of cloud cover pushing out and then I'm going to get out of the way here because as we start to look out to the west, I don't have a cactus cam facing west right now, but we'll see small peak of that full moon making its way in there. And we're getting a good look at those temperatures right now as you get out there and take a good view of the moon right now. We're hanging out in those lower 80s, ozona already down into the 70s, and we're going to continue to drop about a couple more degrees down into those lower 60s tonight. It's going to be a pleasant night to just kind of do anything really as we're already halfway through the week. I know I had a very successful Burger Wednesday for sure. As we're looking at those temperatures across the Conjo Valley, everybody hanging out again in those lower 80s to upper 70s, and we're going to cool down a little bit more, and we're getting a good look at those humidity levels as well. Very interesting setup right now as we see those dew points kind of approaching those upper 50s, close to that 60 mark. And in some areas, really, the relative humidity indices are hanging out in that very humid context, letting us know we do have the good conditions for thunderstorm activity. But the upper level pattern is going to create something very interesting. This low pressure was supposed to move in and cool things off. But you see this horseshoe shape really going to give us a hard time as we continue to make our way in more towards the next week. I thought that that low system would start to push more winds out of the southwest. But because of a result of Tropical Storm uh, Dahlia and uh, Hurricane Franklin, we're going to see some interesting setups here in a couple days set up, really keeping our eye at the severe weather outlook right now, hanging out right now at near South Carolina, North Carolina. As Tropical Storm Adalia starts to fizzle out, you see Hurricane Franklin over there, but then we're watching this set of storms really start to make its way down from the north, and that's what has me concerned as we start to make our way more towards next week. Again, we're watching it kick off a lot of severe weather watches and flash flooding, but here across the Concho Valley, we're watching those clouds really push out as those tropical storms are pulling a lot of that moisture off to the east and definitely has some concerning thoughts when we're talking about that upper level pattern. We're going to continue to keep our eye on these storms up to the north and we're going to take a good look at this. This is what I was talking to Haley about a little bit. I'm going to go through it as best as I can. This area right here off to the east of us, you're going to watch usually what we would call ridging. As that tropical storm continues to move off to the east, look how much this moisture comes up and then starts to circulate backwards. And then, of course, we're watching the storms off to the west coast start to move over. And as you see across the Concho Valley in the state of Texas, it's just circulating in this bowl. And I've never quite even seen something like it. And those temperatures and those moisture levels really going to be dry as a result of it seeing those triple digits so tonight we're going to drop down into those mid 60s partly cloudy conditions again that full moon really out there but tomorrow we're going to make a run at those triple digits with those partly cloudy conditions winds are going to start turning out of the east as a result of those storms pushing out and that horseshoe high pressure we were just talking about making its way in and for the rest of the week we're going to see those temperatures continue to hang out in those triple digits while we hang out in those lower 70s seeing about a 30 degree temperature spread as we make our way through the last week of august into the beginning of september and then finally we're going to continue to see those temperatures level out and that's where we're going to continue to stay there for quite a while until that horseshoe high pressure kind of pushes its way over and we start to see those cooler temperatures move in stay tuned we'll have more after the break you're watching ksan news at 10.